Hey everybody, Sean Collins with Sonal here, and today we're going to talk about why you should invest in monitors. Yeah, give me 400 shares of LCD displays. Make it happen. Not that kind of monitor. Hall passes. I want hall passes. Buy low, sell high. Nah. Lizards, baby! Let's go all in on Komodo dragons and get this reptile money! We're talking about studio monitors. You mean speakers? Not exactly. While they look similar and to an outsider appear to serve the same purpose, they're very different. Speakers are designed to make your audio sound rich, warm, enjoyable. They flatter the signal so that it captivates the listener. Monitors, on the other hand, are designed to reproduce the signal as accurately as possible, revealing problems instead of hiding them. Monitors are for creation, speakers are for consumption. Business and pleasure. Yeah, look, 3D movies are fun, but if a surgeon showed up to your hospital room wearing those little glasses you get at the movie theater, would you let them operate on you? When you're producing music, editing dialogue, or mixing a session, you need to hear everything that's happening in your project. The critical choices you're confronted with when compressing a snare should be made based on fidelity. You also need to know that when someone listens to your mix on their own setup, it sounds the way that you intended. You know, there's an old episode of Seinfeld called The Strike. Yeah, a Festivus for the rest of us. Well, in that episode, Jerry starts dating a woman who he originally finds attractive, but becomes disappointed with when seeing her under different lighting. We've all seen someone who got dressed under poor conditions. They look okay in the mirror at home, but once out in public, the flaws begin to show. We don't want mixes that sound great on our setup, but fall apart when played back in an elevator, on a laptop, through a phone, or at a stadium. Studio monitors help us achieve this translation by sounding precise instead of pretty. They impart as little color on the signal as possible through a neutral frequency response. Speakers are usually tuned to emphasize and optimize through a curve. Monitors aim to be as flat as possible. Now that's not to say that a pair of speakers or earbuds are worthless to the mixing process. They're not. It's important to step away from the console once in a while and check your work on these everyday devices as a point of reference. But without the strong foundation of reliable studio monitors, you're really just working in the dark. No, you listen to me. I don't care what I said before. Put it all on studio monitors. Studio monitors. These people can't mix what they can't hear. <sighs> and cancel my surgery with Dr. Schwartz. I, I think I saw him leaving a 3D movie last week. All right. Got questions? Leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you follow us at Sonal Sound or visit us online at sonalsound.com.